I was into this myself big time. Being a little boy back home in Poland, these were very hard to come by. Like, oh. extremely hard to come by. You wanna play yeah. a little tune so yeah. I can hear it how Probably it plays? Big, mate. Coat off. Take your sure. coat off, be comfortable. I am kind of curious. You made me now very curious what, you know, yeah. a bull, uh, what do you call it? A uh, scrotum. A scrotum with goes for. <laughs> Eric, I'm polishing this for you. Hey guys, Pete over here. So remember this guitar? I'm just playing here. This Stratocaster, this is the one that uh, they got stolen for us and police retrieve it. So finally found a home. Eric, this one is coming your way. Thank you so much for a purchase. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. Really nice guitar. Let's get into today's video. transition from Datsun to Nissan, right? It was all Datsun before. Yeah. Uh, 280Z. That's 280Z, yeah. 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 So That's why I got that car. We used to have a friend <laughs> uh, back in school that his name, he was driving 280Z and uh, his, his parents were like very well off, you know? So being 16, 17 year old, he shows up at high school with 280Z. You go, oh, oh my gosh, you know? And then he got his name, nickname, GT, yeah. because he was just, you know, one of those guys that would just do the donuts on a parking lot, you know, with that right. car. So I, uh, I remember that very well. So pretty much this is every single car or truck is something that you played back in the day, right? I did. Yeah. Look at that. There's not... I know. I know. Most of them are in really, really nice condition. So, yeah. you know, when... <laughs> Back in the day, when you were actually a kid, you really didn't pay attention. You wanted to play with them. You would bang them around. You would do yeah. all kinds of stuff, you know. I really like these uh, Matchbox, the bigger ones, because it had suspension. If you put it on here, and right, you, it, and actu you feel it, it actually, it, it you could feel it. Yeah, bit. I love yeah. that. Yeah, I just love that as a kid. Like, and actually, some of the um, go ahead. I'm, I'm in the movie business okay and so when I would play with them I would come down and be like the camera angle when I would play and my really? brother used to always like uh, laugh at me for that but, is that a matchbox too yeah that's a matchbox too 1970 yeah so I would always do like you know do shots you know like the way I would play with it I'd be like this and then I'd go this way <laughs> and uh, yeah so I never changed <laughs> so that's what I do today just kind of put them up. Oh, this one is missing the landing gear, but still pretty cool. Swiss Air. Yeah, I took it off probably so it looked more real. <laughs> this one was in the air, that's why. Yeah, right. Well, actually, you know what? I don't think it had a landing gear. This, this was one of those that had like this special stand, I, I think, think it, that would sit on. I think it did have a landing gear. It came with, uh, in a yeah? set with all, all these things okay. together. No, like I, I was telling you earlier, I, you know, I was... I was into this myself big time. Now, being a little boy back home in Poland in 1977, you know, when I was seven years old, these were very hard to come by. Like, oh. extremely hard to come by. You would have to go, you know, on a black market, like a flea market. Hmm. And literally, one of these would cost you a week's salary. Yeah. You was, know what I mean? That was so, my brother's. Um, so they were precious, and like I was telling you, I would I would have few of them, and I would play with them as gently as I can, and I would wrap them in mm -hmm. diapers and put them back in a shoebox, yeah. you know, for the next time. So you sound like me. How many we got here overall in this I'm collection? Sorry, I, don't, I don't know. And I can tell these are old too. They're yeah, falling they're, apart, you yeah, know. Yeah, they're from I don't know, right around 1980 when I put them all back in. 
highway highway patrol and that one is in really nice condition obviously like this one it's been played that's a little my, bit with it's my brother's you know oh that's why because he was the one really playing yeah there's one that's really in here somewhere that you can totally tell it's my brother's because it's all but it, unfortunately uh if it, that's the one it's missing a little basket. That's my brother's. But those are one of the ones that are more valuable if it was complete. Yeah, there's a lot where it's missing the uh, old, yeah. you know, white piece there. But So obviously, it's all about condition on these. And also, what model is it? Is it just basic or is it actually a red line? You know, like, yeah, like a lot of them, the red lines will bring, obviously. Yeah a little bit more money, a little bit more desirable. But then some that are not even a red line, but it's, a, it's just a unique model, unique car, will also do very well. Do you have the boxes for that? I don't think so. Yeah, there, yes. is. there was a box for that? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, they go on top, right? As yeah, a, as a tra two, on yeah, a trailer. Yeah, it's okay. called container truck or something like that. So this was some kind of futuristic car, spoiler sport. I don't think, you know, it ever was a real car. Was it? I don't know. Probably not. I don't remember anything like that ever on the street looking that way, you know, but hey. Thanks, Contrary Post. That might have been your brothers too. Well, this is very cool. The question is how much you want for it. What are you thinking? What would you need to get out of it? And I know it's harder with you because this is all your personal no, stuff. No, it's not. No, it's not. So it's, it's time not. to let it go, basically. <clears throat> yeah, okay. and I know, you know, I know you want, you want to pay half, so half of what you think you'll end up getting for it so that's how I usually operate that's you know so fine with me okay yeah I mean a lot of this stuff is gonna be you know here and there we're gonna have some gems but a lot of the stuff without having the original boxes and things like that it's gonna be a little bit all over the place but they are in very nice condition mm -hmm. yeah I mean this was two years ago what the selling price was for oh this is a list that you made that you kind of looked it up yeah and then I uh, one of them I sold because it was actually really expensive. The, on the other page, it was $160. So I think like a couple of them still lined up, like the super van okay. and you know a couple of the other. But yeah, I think stayed the about the same, but they, it did change. But yeah. I think around the time you looked these up, that's when everyone got all that money. You got like man, and right. people were a little bit more loose Two? with the money. And you, you got one here, Prowler. Yeah, that's this one. Six nine six five. This little guy. Like no, that's the Robbie Lobster, the Prowler's right here. Okay. And it is a red line. And you've got like a huge spread here. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Which now I think, I think they're the color. around 30. Yeah, I think that was the yellow color. What are you thinking, Ryan, so far? Um, well, I mean, like these other two in this tray, I don't think are going to be super expensive ones. There's like a fire truck here. I think the more expensive ones are things like this. Um, yeah, the unusual, unusual the color, color, especially yeah. since it has the top there. Yeah, that's that you okay. um, So I think this one was the more expensive one at the time. So let us let us finish with the rest of them yeah, here, please. looking it up, and and I'll come up with like a total number and 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 see and yeah. see where we at. Yeah, sure. Okay. I um, I love the big trucks. I'm not gonna lie here. This this always gets me going because back in the day, you know, I used to play with this stuff myself a lot. So you got quite a few of those okay, here. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm glad you like them. I mean, we got quite a few very nice cars, and there's a lot of cars here that are only gonna bring few bucks. And and your list back from back in the day was you know pretty pretty accurate, but. Uh, it's all supply and demand at the moment. Depends how many are out there yep. and the condition is everything. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm thinking on an open market when I'm all said and done with this. I think I can probably get anywhere between like 450 to 550 out of all of these cars. Yeah. On a, I mean, on, some of them are gonna sell only for five, six dollars. Some of them are gonna go for 20. Yeah. We have a few here that are gonna bring a little bit more. Um, the more unique ones. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking I want to offer you like 250 bucks for all of them. Done. I think that's a fair yeah, offer. That's fine. Um, and I think what I'll do with these, and I'll have to promote them a little bit, but I, if I get a good enough crowd, mm -hmm. maybe I can put them and show them off, you know, individually yeah. on auction, live auction. Hey, 
this is what it is and I can show it off nicely and you know like I said some of them will just bring a few dollars but some of them I might be surprised so I think that's the way I'm gonna go with this yeah because okay. posting one for like 15 bucks would it make sense it's yeah so time that's my thing yeah. too I don't want to list them individually like on eBay for $7.99 or $10 oh, okay. it's just not worth my time well, but if I can best, do so. But if I can do maybe like an auction showing them off, that will be the best thing. So if you're cool okay. with 250, yeah, that's we'll have fine. a deal. Thank awesome. you, Pete. I love Thank it. Thank you, guys. I, I love I it. I appreciate you looking through it all. Very yeah. Well. Look at all this wadded up tissue paper we got now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> From 1977? Yeah. Hey, it looks like it's in good condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Green is go. Okay. Remember, don't bump. Keep all hands and feet in the vehicle at all times. Do the ride. Almost got punched in the face. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Is it on? There we go. Give it a go now. No bumping. new ride. <laughs> I'll put some bigger tires on it though. And, yeah, uh, those really aren't snow tires. And maybe uh, cut your legs right right above the knee so you can fit. Yeah, re rework the body, fabricate it a little bit. Yeah. Want to race? <laughs> Beer bottle sign, uh -huh. does that work? Um, I think it turns on, but I think like the, I think it has caps or something in yeah. it. Yeah. The fan's yeah. not powerful enough to blow it, so I don't know if that originally had those caps or something else okay. inside. Okay. Uh, we gotta get that. <laughs> okay, we're getting that. We're getting that one. Yeah, we are. <laughs> the, the little, the little tin bowling alley, do you have the pins and the balls? That I go don't. On? I don't. Uh, That's how I got it, just the board. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, could, I could make I like pins. It. I could make pins. And what? I own a lathe. And then oh, use yeah. just little marbles. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, a little marble on it. Yeah. 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 Oh. If you want that? I like. I want this for sure. I think I cranked it. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. He's, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I think he's cool. I always wonder about that because like, you know, all the vintage electronics that I have sitting in my house. Yeah. So half of them have little signs underneath them that I glued to the bottom saying tested, working, going, market price and a date. Is that right? So like three years ago, if I brought something, I put that. If it's not working, I would put not working, yeah. parts only market value at that day, this price. So if I kick the bucket, my kids know what to do with this. Well, well I mean, do you, have, do you revisit that and go, hey, let's see if they went up and down. No, but at least it will give them idea if they flip this thing around and it says $600 on it, yeah. they're gonna think about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. They're not Otherwise, the they're gonna stare at the whole wall of vintage stuff and somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna say, well, I'll give you 300 bucks, take it all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. So. I'm just, so none of it's for sale per se. No, like, not all of it's for sale. It's my collection. As, as long as you're alive. So but my so wife already told me, first thing that goes if something happens. Yeah, is that one. <laughs> <laughs> my grandson, two years ago, when I said, if you learn three or four good tunes and play for me, I'll get you a, one of my professional accordions. 
for so this is the professional no, one this is the one i gave him to learn on is that like original like that or did it yellowed over years uh, you know that just gets yellow yeah with time right yeah. it just well you wanna you wanna play yeah. a little tune so yeah. i can hear it how Probably it plays take, my coat off. take your coat off be comfortable these are not new straps that Took the new straps off and I put it in these, but these are good straps too. Okay, okay. I better sit on the case for that. You want a chair? I'll give you a chair. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I just want you to see the, you know, the bellows and everything is good. Oh, no, really good. Yeah, overall. This, by the way, is something I haven't seen. Mostly they're made out of celluloid over wood. Uh -huh. so this is plastic or some form of plastic. It must have been an innovative thing. What what era this is from? If I would say, I would guess about 19, between 45 and 48. So maybe this is a, what do you call it? Um, That's a 120 bass piano accordion. Uh, not lucinite. Um, uh, bakelite. 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 Maybe it's uh, maybe bakelite. I, always, but I never saw a bakelite totally flat like that. Yeah. Plus, it's bakelite is a little bit fragile, so I don't think they would use it for you know crumbles when you hit something corners it breaks easy. Yeah, but this is if this is going to crumble. I think it would have. Uh, let's see, one of these straps is crossed. He must have crossed it. I want to show you an innovation here. Wow! <laughs> look at that. Yeah. So it's that's like amazing that from top and bottom. I never saw that before. It's, yeah. it's, so they're probably experimenting, you know. Right. Tell from the, the, the you know, the crispness of them. Uh-huh. You see. Something uh, Christmas, really Christmas. Give me some Christmas song. Oh, okay. Still sound I've never good. heard a Christmas song no wonder I mean before. <laughs> I could pay twice as good if the bottom was over. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I can't good, use that. A little strategy. tight, huh? I know you said buck fifty. Well, probably, you certainly should get a hundred out of it if you give me a fit one fifty. So you think I can get like two fifty out of it then, or? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but it's, it's also Christmas. You don't have another accordion in, right? At the moment, I don't. Yeah, I, so I, it's Christmas time. You probably might ask three fifty for yeah, a Yeah, but you know, I hate to say this, but you are a dying breed. <laughs> of people who enjoy this and know how That's to true, play this and it's a harder and harder to sell. The, you look on eBay or, or just on YouTube, yeah. it's a surprising number of yeah. audience being sold now at the moment. But Okay. Anyway, well, so make me an offer, a good offer. Good so offer. Op open it up. That's the way you put an accordion in. Like this, what happened is you... People try to pick it up and pick it up by the keys and, and rip them up. It's better off if you display it out of the case. Okay. I mean, would you take a hundred bucks for it or? No, how about 125? You old friend, I'm not going to argue. All right. Okay. You made, I know you made good money on the PA system. I, I sold you. Oh. That's a different guy now. Same guy. Oh, I've been here. Same guy. Well, you got your shaved your head more. <laughs> He's more shiny, you're saying. <laughs> All right, let me have your ID. I'll write you up. Okay. I s I've started to now at my age doing push-ups like this at 45 degree angle. Yeah. I'm up to 60 now. Yeah. And it's not quite as much 
pressures if you're on the floor, but yeah. I, at my age, I, push ups, I'll be push ups is a lot of strain on your wrist, you know. Does like this way? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like push ups, really like it's just a lot of uh, like going so like that start. on the ground, it's a lot of maybe less this way, yeah. But I mean, there's quite a bit of pressure that way, you know, but it's not nearly as much as your whole weight of your body. So Thank you. Five there, you're all set. Now I can get a Christmas present for one of my other grandkids. Yeah. I've got 13 grandchildren. Do you want to give you a price for both or just the changes? <laughs> it's a right now because okay. this is like a little sentimental for this. So I think it's, I think this package is from you, Ryan. Because you called earlier and you said that we are getting something cool. So I'm assuming this is from you. I'm excited. Warning, all empty boxes become property of honey. This is so cool. What is Look what he wrote down on this. All empty boxes. <laughs> she likes honey. Our she boxes. loves boxes. So yeah, I I gotta hang this somewhere here. So it's like... She hang it on her bed. Yeah, we'll hang it on her bed. Although lately she hasn't been sleeping on it. I don't know why. The cat probably. Maybe the cat sitting on top. Yeah. I don't know. So... This is so cool. Uh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. This is this is very creative. So I think. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. I think we actually gonna retire Honey's bed. At least retire from here, from the floor. We're gonna put that in the back for her in her room. Mm -hmm. But now, since she loves laying on boxes, we're gonna attach this sign to this box. Where is she? I just heard her. I'll go grab her. Put, put that box in that spot now where the bed used to be. Which way should we have it? At the angle maybe. Like no, the other way towards the store. Yeah, something like that. Nice blanket here. Ooh. What do you think of that? So cool. Like, what's up with that? Uh uh. She'll she she she'll eventually she'll eventually come. Yeah. Maybe without that. Maybe she just likes the boxes. Uh oh. Are you playing with a kitty? No, I didn't call you up here. I called you down here. You're not working with me today. See, that's exactly what I mean about these t-shirts. That anything hairy it sticks to it immediately. They're horrible, you know? <laughs> Grab the roller and clean yourself off. <laughs> and clean yourself off, kid. <laughs> Glenn Campbell, that's what I picked. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you got you got a out here yeah. going into the amplifier. Sure. Oh, it'd be nice if I plug it in first, huh? Right that would help. So the first light doesn't light up. Number one, uh -huh. like it's the one right now, and then it goes to two, three, oh, four, okay. and then the one doesn't light up, but it runs. I can hear it running, yeah. so. Realistic. Let's see what this one brings in. 57 of them available and listed right now. <laughs> wow. 51, 59 with the box. Here's one for 25. I'm thinking actually using them and displaying some cool pieces that I got in here yeah, on the wall. Yeah, if you got one, I'll show you just how it just you know? fits like just perfect for it. Right, and that way it doesn't flop around, right? It just sits there from side to side, you know? Yeah, I bought it for the man cave thing. And also I, I kept some of them, I didn't end up doing that, but I kept some of them just to protect them, like the most valuable ones. Right. Because no, if I put sense. those in a box yeah, and then yeah. there's nothing's going to Now be this, sick. on the other hand, I don't think <laughs> I want this. I mean, it's kind of novelty item, you know? Yeah. This is made New Mexico. Yeah, you should look at the comps on that though. I mean, not that you really? I, if you don't want it, you don't want it, but it, it's it's it surprised you on the Bully comp. Saco de Toro is the company. Yeah. And it's got like their tag on here. How old it is, you think? I is don't it know. old? I mean, I, looking at this it's there's from some the that, 80s. Probably they thinking. have some that are mounted like between two sticks on a on a wood platform. And those go for more. I am kind of curious. You made me now very curious what, you know, yeah. a bull, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a scrotum. A scrotum would go for. <laughs> Excuse me. 
okay. <laughs> it's just the weird stuff that I get here, you know? Yeah. 80 bucks, 49 bucks, 55 bucks. Wow, actually I am surprised, 75 bucks. <laughs> I would never think this would go for that kind of money. I was literally thinking that this is like a $15, $20 item, you know what I mean? I mean, this thing kind of falling yeah. apart a little bit and it ripped off here, but you know, it's, it's... There's one here that's sold with this cool stand for 125 bucks. I'm just. I think I'm going to say no. Okay. Even though that it brings some money, it's just... That's fine. Um, this you could use it to display the I have quite cassette. a few actually here and I oh, display my like cassettes that. differently but I have a taller one that holds 120 cassettes oh, that spins okay. four ways you you have oh, cassettes wow. on all four I sides kind of maybe I mean I'll something. still buy this from you but I'll make you only an offer like a five bucks on this that's it you know what that's probably I understand your I think I'll keep that then. okay all right so, so 20, 20 and 10, 10 sure. 30 bucks Let's works yeah. awesome okay Don't give me some country donuts Pay for your gas, you know? That's right. All right, I do need your ID. I'll write you. Here's 30. Sure. And I appreciate you. Right. Thank you very Thank much. You, yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you a quick question. I had the camera rolling on this oh. little negotiation. Are you okay with me using sure. this footage? You cool with it? Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay. So we'll probably chop it up. So we'll be yeah. only a couple minutes of it, but sure. this mainly Here's for this because it's just a cool, <laughs> weird item. Yeah, when I looked you... at the comps, I thought, oh my god, I thought it was like worth nothing. That's, I tell you it's what, still worth nothing. Well, it's only what people willing to buy it for. I would probably make you an offer if that belt was see, in better yeah, condition. I, you know, I think I might have done that even on the way over. There. You know, but it's kind of a little bit. You can see it's falling apart in yeah. a few different places. You I know, I think all it was was just. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. It's on the inside, on the inside, right here. Oh, there it was, show. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I did leave the price tags on that, but the one for the. Next I don't think I ever had one. I know. I, I I don't know if I want to touch that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank all you right, very thank much. Thank you. So I picked this Betty up the other day. It's pretty cool and I originally thought this was like a real cartoon cell, right? Like we, we get them here once in a while. They're yeah. pretty cool and they look like almost they're three-dimensional. This doesn't look like three-dimensional. And now I read on it on the back that this is a Toon Art, maintains the original animation drawing, hand inked, hand painted cell. So it is a cell. Once the printing process for the 1100 series cells is completed, all originals are retired and vaulted at the Toon Art Inc. You know, Betty was uh, always cool. This is biker Betty sitting on a Harley Davidson. Pretty cool piece. Now the certificates from back in the day, this is I think like 1997 or something. They're always kind of suspicious. Yeah. You know, because they don't have a hologram, they don't have any way of really going and checking this, if this is legit product. But there is their logo here. Um, how much money does this worth? I don't know. 50, 60 I don't think bucks Black maybe. Betty is, or not Black Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Boop is as power, or, uh, popular as like... D Disney the, stuff, for yeah. example, you know, yeah, no for sure. Because we we had a bunch of Disney cells, and they actually sold quickly and for good money, yeah. you know. But this is maybe fifty, sixty dollars. Still a cool piece. I like it. Sounds like we did it again, or you did it. I did it Ooh. again. So this this whole cart, I wanted to everything that you got on it. You already took few things out, yeah. obviously, but I didn't want to buy this. I bought a few other things with him. Yeah. And then I kind of combine the price for everything that I purchased, you know. But uh, yeah, some of these are probably so all the dolls are worth 15 20 bucks at most. Yeah. But yeah. this one's just scary looking, you know. <laughs> it's got no glasses, so listen, plus the chair broken. Listen, right now is the time, let's put them out quickly. Let's put them on Facebook Marketplace for 15 20 bucks just to get them out of here, just to move them, yeah. And what about those rulers? And so these I found, they basically retail for like 10 bucks a piece. They right. don't sell very well at all on eBay. I was gonna do a set of two for like 12 bucks plus shipping. Perfect. And we've got 17 or 19 pairs of It was them. like a whole box, right? And I've yeah. got a bunch of these blue ones left over and I didn't know if you want me to see if anyone's interested in two of the same for 12 bucks or if you want to sell these for five bucks the sh something. shipping will kind of kill us on this because well, it's was, awkward it's light but it's maybe six seven ounces but yeah. 
Well, I was thinking like I'll add like five bucks shipping on those for 12, 12 bucks plus shipping. Yeah, that's fine. But these ones, I don't know if anyone's even going to want two of the same. And it doesn't make sense to know. sell them individually. No. So. I mean, we got a few. Put them out for like eight ninety nine, free ship, and we still making four dollars and just unload them online. Or just put them here, maybe for five bucks. A I piece. was thinking just here. Yeah, for five let's bucks. do that. They might let's be put it here. For a while. So let's do the yeah twelve. Okay. So, so it's not like... that bad. I mean, you know, you pulled out a few items out of here that we gonna make money, right? I paid like yeah. hundred and ten dollars for the whole cart. Yeah, basically with what I've got listing is where I'm putting all the money. So you don't really have to say we have anything. Okay, so, hey, you scared me there for a second. We did it again. Well, I don't know how much we have in all this stuff. You, 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 but he did, brought the, the Mrs. Claus up here. The rocker looks like it's yeah, broken. She's it's missing horrible. her glasses. And I didn't want this. I seriously didn't want it. He says, please don't make me load this back in a car. Yeah, so I end up buying the whole car. This is broken. That's too. broke. So he actually was walking in with this and it dropped on the floor. And we're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, it's trash now. So. Yeah. All right. Good talk. <laughs> All right, guys, it's that time. Postcards. 454, 455, 456, 457, 458, 459, and this one is cool, 460. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.